What up, peeps? Mr. Bones back at you, and it is once again Wild Eye Week, brought to you by Bronco Juggalo and the Super Slash Bros. And what we're talking about is 2020's Dark Slide, aka Road to Red, directed by Tito De La Costa, and written by Tito De La Costa and Larry Lehehe. Starring Matthew Prater as Paul, Sean Gray as Bruce, Chris Blassman as Rob, Michael Buffo as Jimmy, Renee Dorian as Mel, and Amanda Wing as Jody. A surf skate action thriller about five best friends who sat out on a road trip that quickly turns into an epic battle for survival. The story to this is pretty simple and to the point. You meet this crew of uh, extreme extremists, I guess, uh, extreme surfers and skateboarders. Paul and Bruce are brothers. Bruce shows up to where Paul and the rest of the crew are in a bar drinking, and Bruce is like Paul's manager, and he's pissed off because he's drinking and getting drunk the night before a big competition and he's yelling at him and his younger brother's like you're not my father and why are you yelling at me like this I have big plans for the crew we're going to make it big and Bruce just keeps yelling at him so Paul gets pissed and says fuck you and runs off in his badass hearse that has this cool ass graffiti on the side like a dragon tail or whatever and then it says three weeks later uh, Paul is missing uh, they, the cops don't know if he committed suicide or if he drowned or what. They find his car next to this water and his surfboard's in the water. And then one day, uh, Jimmy shows up at Bruce's house where the rest of the crew is and tells them we need to get back together and film this surfing skateboard movie. For Paul, it's what he wanted, and they go on this road trip. And this movie is badass. If I had known before, I would have watched it long ago. Uh, it's much up the road of stuff I like: extreme sports movies, skateboarding, BMX, surfing, skydiving, whatever. I like that kind of stuff. And so, this movie is also long. It's a little bit over two hours and the whole first hour is extreme sports them going on a like a cross-country journey hitting all these crazy spots um, skateboarding surfing and Jimmy even takes them to this crazy place that he said uh, Paul wanted them to do called Walter's Wiggle and it has all these crazy ass drop-offs and zigzags and uh, boys um, Bruce and Rob tell Jimmy, you're fucking nuts, we're not doing that, we'll fall off the cliff and die. And they go back to the camp to drink and act goofy. And, but after a night's sleep, Bruce had thought it over, and Rob gets up to piss and sees Bruce flying down the mountain and doing Walter's wiggle. He didn't seem to have much of a problem successfully doing it. It was pretty cool. Then they get back into the quest, graffitied out hearse to head back home. But Jimmy says, we got one more place to go. We should go camp out where Paul disappeared. And they're like, yeah, let's do it. Next thing you know, Bruce comes back from across the water. He's like, I found something. And this must be like a big spot that Paul wanted us to do. And it's like a big ass spillway that goes downhill and they're all doing it, flying down the hill, having a blast. Next thing you know, 
it goes really far downhill steep and they can't stop themselves from falling and sliding they slide down a, a hole like a crater in the floor they can't stop themselves and they all fall down there into like a cave and that's where the other half of the movie turns into a horror movie it turns from like an extreme sports movie into like the descent slightly mixed with the barbarian I felt a slight bit of that but it gets creepy they're all stuck down there Jimmy is missing so there's four of them there's two walkways hallways whatever they try them both then they find a generator to turn lights on that helps them somewhat let's just say there's something living down there that they're not too thrilled to find this was a blast this movie was lots of fun if you like any of the shit I just mentioned extreme sports or descent type movies I'd highly recommend you check it out and that's what I watched peace